format. Yeah, no, no <laughs> I got I got to sit up straight. Uh, what's up, guys? Uh, today we're gonna be uh, what are we discussing? We're discussing the double XL freshman class 2019, but more specifically, the females or the girls. I don't know. We can talk about all of them, I feel like, but the women this year are pretty fucking lit, so. Yeah, uh, and I'm joined by a special guest, Trucker OK, friend of the show, second time on, Ooh. and Ebony Bell. Hi. You, can, you, can, you, can. Yeah, you want me to say something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, tell, tell the people about yourself. Oh, tell the people about myself. I'm My name's Ebony Bell. Um, I do stand-up comedy with Brandon Bryan here in Trucker OK in the Southern California area. Very I specific. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yep. Let's get it lit. Let's get it popping. And Chuck just let her hit the uh, hit the weed pen before, so uh, just nice and loose. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah. Uh. Any any thoughts? Uh. Any thoughts on uh first off first rip? Uh. Nah. <laughs> well, cause uh, me and Ebony, we were talking like last was that last week, right? Yeah, yeah, last. Uh, we want to do a video about. Oh God, this chair is like. Um. Just cause like this year <laughs> the female class is like sp- I think it's the strongest it's been in like. Probably like would you say it's like ever the most strongest female class? Yeah, yeah. Well, because usually like I feel like they kind of they kind of just throw a girl in to be like, oh look, we have a girl on the list, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But this year they have three or f- mm-hmm. three, yeah, and they're all like solid. And I don't, I don't know anything about uh like the female rap scene right now. I know city girls are popping, yeah, so like yeah, I would like yeah. to be uh, enlightened. Yeah, yeah. I feel like I feel like now is the time for female rap. Honestly, it just seems like it's popping off and in a real way. I. Like, I feel like the women are just hella confident now. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's, like, Me Too or something, but women are, like, more confident huh. with their sexuality, with their personality. They'll be like, yeah, all the stuff that dudes talk about, we do the same thing to you. That's why dudes is getting robbed left and right, because women are listening to the city girls. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Damn. Yeah. Also, I never, I always hate, like, especially in comedy, like, when, uh, when, when girls rap about, or, like, joke or talk, like, rap about, like, their, like, their pussies or whatever. I always like when guys like, oh, like that's all they talk about. It's like we just make dick jokes. So it's yeah, like, we make dick jokes. I, I, I yeah. always, I, I didn't really like Good that point. argument, uh, like because I, I don't think it's like, yeah, I don't care. If it's funny, it's funny, bro. I don't. Yeah, care. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, city girls pop in, but I mean, their biggest song was written by Lil Yachty. So. No, I've thought that too. You know, it's funny if, since we kind of brought. <laughs> just, I'm just saying. I got. I mean, it, it's true. It's true. Comedy I, into it in my little in my comedy notebook. I wrote, uh, "Girls be hoeing," <laughs> right now. Cause like I think you've sensed that too. You said guys are getting robbed and shit right now. It's like, dude, girl, it's like, but you know, dude, like make since money, like get Snoop Dogg, it's like it's been about pimping. You know, it's mm-hmm. like guys have been pimping, and girls that have never they're hoeing without the pimp, so they're keeping all the money. It's like, yeah, but at the know? same time, you know what it is? I think it's like some women, uh, many women, feel scorned and they feel like, okay, well, a lot of the times we get used by men for our bodies and for sex, so. If I want him to buy me X, Y, and Z, he's going to do it. And Mm -hmm. it's like that. But I don't agree with the ones that get, like, drugged. Like, some girls set dudes up and stuff. But that's sad. Cardi B. (laughs) Yo, that was her past life. Don't hold Cardi B accountable for that. But, like, (laughs) I feel like, yeah, they they just, (coughs) women just want, like, like some sort of power. I feel like that's what what it mostly comes from. Who should I be listening to? Dude, my favorite, honestly, like, not even just, like, female rappers. Like, one of my favorite artists right now is Rico Nasty. She's, dude, she's hard. Oh, yeah? Because you know Kenny Beats? No. You know, oh, damn. Do you, do you know Kenny Beats? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so they just did a, a whole project. Um, yeah, Anger Management. And it's, like, it's, like, pretty short. It's only, like, nine tracks. But, it, it, dude, it goes. Okay. Because uh, one management. of the songs, uh, I forget what song it is, but they flip, like, an old Jay-Z beat. Let me download um, that. Hey, it's called Hey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like a it's like a sample um of an old Jay Z beat. Yeah, oh, wow. yeah. It, it it goes off. Yeah. She Rico Nasty Kenny beats right there. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. She she's really yeah, Damn. If you'll look at this is another thing I love about female rap is all of this female centric art. If you'll look at the cover yeah. of this album, it looks like her mouth wide open but also like a vagina. So Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 She has her no, and it's got this like '90s feel to it, you know, Mm -hmm. some weird like almost like thriller, like early '80s shit. And she has like a really unique style too. It's kind of like punk rock and hip hop at the same time. That's fucking tight. It works. It works. It's like how Juice World is like emo rock and hip hop. She's like punk rock and hip hop. That's sick. Okay. She has has bangers. Um, and then, um, dude, uh, Megan The Stallion. She came out of nowhere, dude. 
Like, I feel like everyone was just talking about it. Like, <laughs> she had dropped one project, and everyone's like, uh-huh. like I saw her on uh, the first, the first verse I ever heard her on was um, uh, the Young Duty album with uh, Pierre Bourne. You guys listen to that? Oh. No. Slimy ear, pretty good. Um, <laughs> and I was like, I was, I was like, who is this? And like three days later, that project dropped, and then like everyone was talking about her. Wait, uh, are you talking about Tina Snow or Fever? Wait, what? Which project for Megan are you talking about? Oh. Tina Snow or Fe- do you know which one? Oh, the the most recent one. The mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Everyone, I feel like everyone just started talking about that. Yo, like honestly, the first time I ever saw Megan was when I was still on Tumblr. By the way, I was on Tumblr for way too long. No, 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 this is like three, this is maybe like three, four years ago. And oh, I just saw, man. yeah, I just saw her like doing like a freestyle, but it was like, she had a really hard bars and she was talking about all the stuff that you never really hear women talk about. She was just, she was just pimping in the lyrics. She was, she sounded like a straight pimp in the lyrics. And I was like, yo, who is this girl? And I was like, whatever, I'll probably just see her some other time. And then I heard Big old Freak and I was high at the gym one day Ooh. <laughs> and that beat was slapping. And I was like, Ooh, yo, okay. I fuck with this. She hit 120 on the RPMs on the bike. She was like, <laughs> 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 you know. Going <laughs> <laughs> and then and then we hear fever fever her latest project and she has some bangers on there the cash shit with the baby oh, yeah. yo damn and the baby's popping off yeah. right now yeah yeah well how do you okay the baby's a freshman can we talk about the baby for a second oh how he do kills it yeah. i love the baby you do yeah. Yeah. yeah it's like i don't know it's almost like uh when 50 cent came out well, he came out of nowhere, too. Yeah, honestly. he came out of nowhere, and he reps it hard, dude. And, like, North Carolina is a cool place to rep, but yeah. then he's also, like, repping L.A. in a way. And, like, he really has a not give a fuck with, like, the whole gang affiliation, which is cool. Like, he doesn't seem – I mean, I don't know anything about him. He's wearing a blue L.A. hat, but that's, like, just <laughs> L.A. <laughs> You're you know? ta- are you talking about the baby or blue face? The baby. Oh, the baby. Yeah. He has All a right, blue L.A. True. hat. Like, he reps N.C. kind of and L.A. Is he from L.A.? No, he's from N.C. Oh, yeah. Oh. That's kind of weird. Yeah, and uh, but like he's got songs like "Shug," you know, and "Tupac." Yeah, yeah. So that's it's so like true. he so reps it so m- well, yeah. but and and his lyrics. What I love about it, it's not too repetitive. Did you uh, did you see that Instagram video of where it? he kicked that dude's ass? Yeah, did you see yeah, that? Yeah, yeah that's, dude. That's some wild <laughs> shit. He doesn't give a fuck. <laughs> see, I like that about him. One thing I can say though, and I've heard a lot of other people say this, is that his flows often do sound the same. Yeah, yeah. To me. yeah. Definitely, yeah. But then also, I, I can't lie, I also feel that way about Future sometimes, too. I don't like, yeah, I don't listen to Future. Really? Yeah. That new Future album was, eh. Or yeah, EP. I know you like him, too, and I know, I think Daryush is really big yeah. in the Future, too, so he was shocked when I said that, but I don't know, I'm more of a lyric kind of guy. Yeah. Um, oh, go ahead. Which, uh, to bring it back to Meg, is why I like her so much, is because you can tell she really writes. Like, if you listen to any of her freestyle, she'd be rhyming crazy-ass words with each other her flow is always really tight i feel like i like that like the the when the lyrics are there and the flow yeah. is tight yeah um yeah uh you, you know fantano right anthony fantano yeah he gave uh their last project i think like a like a like it's eight or something like that damn yeah he really liked it yeah wow yeah he's yeah. cool and he's really heavy into death grips and i love death yeah grips. <laughs> um and then so is her rico Am and I then a good uh, source on rap <laughs> 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 not nah, hey, got the all the all the uh we got all the angles covered Oh um, my God. And then uh, Tierra Whack, yeah. who like do you, you fuck with her? Yeah. I never really listened to her music, but like I know she does like o- like all her songs are, like one minute or like two minutes or something like that. Yeah, a, l- a lot of her songs are pretty short. I feel like she's mostly going for like a a vibe in every single song. Like I've heard her switch up her flow a lot. I mean, her style is always the same. If that makes sense, like what she does is in the song is always like similar, but like uh, she like switches up her flow and her. Uh, sound a lot i feel like i forgot to start the timer but oh, uh, wow, uh great uh, host <laughs> i know i know <laughs> so oh okay cool 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 okay. um so y- your favorite is like out of the the, the girls for megan megan the stallion um between meg and rico between meg and rico yeah, yeah. dude you gotta check them out dude i got it dude yeah uh, i just downloaded the album but know. like i feel like this is like it's so like cool for like three three girls to be on it but then at the same time i feel like this year like this is like it barely made my news feed, like my timeline, the XXL like cover. Like I feel like oh, I didn't hear about it. Yeah. I, did, I didn't hear about it till you guys brought it up twenty yeah. minutes ago. I yeah, feel, I feel like it's just like. Oh, I was gonna say this is like the, I think it's the best class since like. It is a good. Six it is a good class. Yeah, yeah, but like I just feel like now, like, dude, like nobody, like it's like nobody it doesn't can, have that yeah. much height. Yeah, yeah. 
Can I say why, though? Like, I started following it maybe in, like, 2014, and I thought it was really cool. And yeah. I think, I don't know if it was 2017 or 2018, but I was like, who the fuck are these niggas? Yeah. <laughs> Y'all suck. I mean, some of them were okay. Yeah. But even some of them, like, I feel like, I, I don't know, they weren't that great for the past couple of years. I don't know who was on la- last year's class I thought was trash. I think I liked Kamaya, but even their ciphers were not interesting. And they had XXX yeah. with the, was XXX on last year? Oh, yeah, it was. Oh, yeah. Where he, he he dropped that thing where no oh, okay so I have acapella yeah I have a, I have a I, I forgot that, that I yeah last that's year was a I, I actually have the actual cover last from last year uh, it's X ski mask uh, oh, like trippy ski red um, trippy I don't like trippy red what? at all you don't like trippy red he's weird bro. So he looks like yeah. he has jaundice, bro. Yeah, <laughs> dead ass, dude. <laughs> yeah. Hey, maybe he yeah. does. <laughs> why, why are you hating? I feel like you can heal from jaundice or cure it, but he's had it for like a few years at this point. I don't know, dude. And, and just like, like the way he like presents himself on like IG. Like after, you know, he is pretty the like tragedy. Demonic. He was like, God, fuck, I'm so upset. Fuck, I wish I could. Wait, you what? Know, like, what? He would just post like when, uh, when you know, X died. Oh, yeah, yeah. But it was just so like I don't know. It just se- seemed like yeah, I don't know something um, about it rubbed me the wrong way. Yeah, he's yeah, really it's yeah. demonic. It's bad energy, bro. But you know who you would like was on it last year was uh, Wi Fi's funeral. You know who that is? Oh, I have a couple of songs that yeah, he like, produced. Pretty, it's pretty lyr- yeah. lyrical. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think who's like who who's your guy? You, your, who's your favorite rapper from this this class? Mm. You can grab it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Um, still between Megan the Stallion and Rico Nasty. Wow. Rico because her vibe is so unique, mm-hmm. and Megan yeah. because I I know a lot of men don't like Megan, and I can understand that because she has like a lot of female centric lyrics. But whenever you listen to her music as a woman, you just feel like a type of way, you know? You're like, I'm that bitch, and you love feeling that way. Mm-hmm. Her and Cardi make you feel that way. Yeah. Um, you you know you know Zach Fox right? Uh uh-uh. uh. Oh fuck. Okay. Well, there's like a song, uh, by Zach Fox, and he it's called Square Up, and like it kind of like blew up and went viral. But he like, he like even said on Twitter he like copy not copy but like, it's kind of like a Rico Nasty flow. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Which is cool. Like, people are like, copying her. I guess. Um. Yeah. Not copying, but like, taking not a homaging. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, uh, that is cool. Yeah. Who's uh Who's your favorite on this class? Oh, who's on the class? I really don't. Oh, know. oh, that's right. You don't even know. Yeah. It was uh, um, it was them three. It was uh fuck who is it? Let me look it up. Oh yeah, Blueface, Blueface, Lo- baby? Blueface, Lil Mosey, YBN, Corday. YBN Corday, Gunna. Oh, I like YBN Corday. Yeah. Who? Oh, Cometazine. Oh, yeah, yeah. Roddy oh yeah, Roddy Rich too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I like him. He's like really like, like um, like mel- melodic. Dude, that's the only person I didn't know. Who? Yeah, I didn't know who that was. That's the only person I was like. <laughs> Yeah, Mosey, Lil Mosey's like Lil seventeen. Mosey he's yeah, he's fire. You, have you ever listened to him? You ever listen to Lil Mosey? Mm-mm, fire. He's pretty good, dude. He, okay. he makes hits. He makes hits. I'd say Corday probably. Yeah, because oh, you like lyrical stuff, huh? Yeah. Yeah. I felt, dude. I feel like Gunna's like kind of too big for it now. Like that's what I was thinking too. How is he like, a freshman? Yeah, he's like, been around. He, for they play his music at Twenty Four Hour Fitness. So <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you think about it though, like I feel like I only started really hearing Gunna shit like in the past year. You're right. The Drip first Harder? Thing, yeah. What'd you say? Drip Harder? Yeah. Is that him or is that Lil Baby? No, that's him and Lil Baby. Yeah. I think the first song I ever heard Gunna on that I really listened to was... Um, Sold Out Dates? No, the one on Travis Scott's album. Has someone named... Yosemite? Nick? Yeah, Yosemite. Oh. That's, that's oh, what that's that's I saw. Mm-hmm. That yeah. was like... Oh, damn. That, fuck. That was almost a year ago. Holy shit. Oh, Astro World? That's crazy. What an album. But that was uh-huh. dude, <laughs> that's crazy. I was like, oh, that was yeah. like like five months ago, and I was like, oh shit, that was like a year ago. It came out in August. Um, but yeah, we just wanted to talk about you. You gotta you gotta check out. Uh, you'll like Rico Nasty. Like. Oh yeah, no, I think I will. I think I will. Um, I'm surprised you don't know who Kenny Beats is. He's fire too. He's like a he's like six seven, like this. He used to be an EDM like DJ. Oh, okay. And then he like moved to uh, like beats. Uh, he has actually a cool uh thing on YouTube called uh, the Cave. Where he makes a beat on spot and then he gets someone to uh to freestyle over it. Okay. And like Maxo Cream did one. Oh shit. Okay. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool. I like Maxo Cream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that guy scares me. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, one time at a uh, Rolling Loud, um, he we saw him perform and he took off his shirt 
And, you know, I'm, I'm not one to talk about people taking off their shirts, yeah. but uh, big big fella. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah he was a uh bit, right yeah it was it was <laughs> he was uh yeah he was <laughs> i guess scary bro yeah, yeah 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 i heard and i don't know <laughs> if this is true but i heard that he's like part of the some houston crip yeah oh well, yeah he outfit yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah and they're so like notorious that the crips and the bloods have t- teamed to get <laughs> teamed up to try and stop his fucking little outfit really that they're that fucking wow bad jeez and his lyrics are heavier than i think any other rapper's lyrics yeah, it's like, pretty they hold the most weight yeah yeah like he's got he's on a song with suicide boys dead batteries is that it's out like, there like last one pull or? up in a residential we can't find you shoot your sister it's like <laughs> damn dude you're like chill <laughs> <laughs> but at the same time you're like Fuck. yeah but then it's like that does <laughs> go hard i mean yeah how how much can you push the envelope you know <laughs> what's the limit um uh, yeah i don't know we're like that's like a decent like decently like you know lengthy conversation. any other thoughts um on, uh, on any of this any other any other like any other female rappers that you should th- you should think we should we should know about um damn <laughs> i'm sorry <laughs> no actually who i was listening to the most was here we go nasty megan oh, the stallion do you know who uh do you know who uh no name is yeah yeah she's she, she i like her I like No Name too. I like No Name too, but I can say she has more of like that poetic flow. You know what I mean, like that lo- that that laid back flow. And um, I don't know. I wonder if she'll ever be part of like a freshman class or anything. Well, cause like she's like fully independent. Like mm-hmm. I remember her like tweeting about it. Cause she's friends with that uh, Chance. Mm-hmm. Shout out Chance Rapper. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> you ever heard? You ever heard No Name? No, no. She's yet. on. She's on Acid Rap. Oh really? Which song? Um, Lost. Okay. The ch- the girl in Lost. Okay. Um. Oh wait, no, is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. But yeah, what about a what about a new um. Uh, SZA album. That's coming out. I don't know. Oh. I'm waiting for a new SZA album. I was just thinking about it because Rihanna, she's kept us at bay with her products and things. But I'm like, bitch, I know you haven't made an album <laughs> album in a while. <laughs> it's time for you to hit us with some fire, Rihanna. <laughs> that her and Put her then ass on bus. Tag her. Tag him. <laughs> right? <laughs> right? <laughs> and then I love you, Rihanna. Please don't get offended that I called <laughs> you, bitch. Um, I don't know what else to say. If Rihanna watches it, uh, who cares? <laughs> we, we won. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> what was Good the question point. that you asked me before? <laughs> oh, SZA. Yeah, I would like a new SZA album. I wonder how her sound is going to evolve this quickly, though. I feel like, because do you guys listen to Solange, Beyonce's sister? Oh, yeah. And her with Blood Orange is tight. I never heard, see all that like black hippie music? I dig it, but I just want to make sure that like the sound evolves, because that's what I look for in all my other, all the other artists that okay. I fuck with, you know? Beyonce did that Black well. Black hippie. What's your favorite SZA song? My favorite SZA song? Because, like, because I, I, Brandon knows this, dude. I've been, like, saying, like, dude, you got to listen to SZA since, like, fucking <coughs> forever, dude. Yeah. yeah. Uh, no, 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 no. Mm-hmm. Well, because she, she had a lot of songs with. Well, because Chance had a verse uh, on her, like, very, very first Yeah, Child's project. Play. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. I, like, I'm a big Isaiah Rashad fan, so mm-hmm. they have a lot of, like, collapse mm. together but like what was your favorite like SZA song um and for what album like you know i definitely liked her last album the most oh okay for sure you said oh, okay like that <laughs> <laughs> he's like he's like he's like he's like all right all right fake fan fake fan <laughs> oh no 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 like your last, last album's good i don't know I, the last album the, all the first all the other albums i feel like i could just like vibe to them you know what i mean mm-hmm. but that one i want to sing to like i want to ah, dance to i, I feel you. that I like, God, I feel bad being like all of the singles, but like I really like The Weeknd and uh, I think 20 something because, you know, I relate to it and shit. Do you like The Weeknd, like the like the remix one or the original one? I always like, all, I hate when people remix songs. Yeah. I'm like, I like the first one. I got attached to the first one. Keep uh, it that way. I, uh, I started live at a camp vlog last year. Uh-huh. Was she good? Dude, her voice, I like. I'm, I don't. I honestly don't even listen to her music like that, and I almost shed a tear. Aww. Oh, that's Aww. beautiful. Yeah, it was, I, was, I was like, this is so good. Good and real. I know. Yeah, I was like, holy shit. Um, 
Yeah. Any uh, any last words from uh, from you over here? No, nah, sure. Rico Nasty, yeah, uh, check her out Megan the Stallion. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Got some homework. All right. Yeah. Um. Yeah. That that should be uh. Yeah. Um. Hopefully, we put this out like when all like the XXL like like freestyles and shit comes out. So yeah. Woo. We oh, yeah. smart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. And then maybe we could do a maybe we could do a best of uh cipher. You know. A little recap thing. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That'd be sick. Sure. Yeah. Um. But yeah. Thanks for watching. Um. Peace out.